me, friend. Do you know about Push and Pee? Push and Pee? You don't know what Push and Pee is. Here's the music! Oh my god! Yeah, push and pee! Come on! <laughs> Free fun! Alright, I gotta stop you guys. Huh? I gotta kick this off. Oh no! This thing is pushing out of all control! Oh no! Help! Someone do something! Stop laughing! No! The pee is pushing me! What up, y'all? Rap Critic here. And this review is sponsored by viewers like you who got to see this episode first when they joined my Patreon. And if you'd like to see episodes first, plus vote on song reviews, hear exclusive podcast episodes, and join the Discord where you can chat with me and fellow fans, sign up for the $2 level on Patreon. Or the new $5 tier, where you can leave a comment on what you think of the song I'm reviewing this week, for or against it, and if I like what you have to say, I'll feature it in the episode. Additionally, if you only want to do one-time donations, hit up Ko-fi, where you can donate however much you want, whenever you want, as well as make requests for music video reviews, movie reviews, and live Twitch music streams. Any way you'd want to donate is much appreciated. So let's talk about rappers introducing new slang. Because MCs introduce new words or phrases in their lyrics all the time that end up catching on in people's common vocabulary. And it'll usually happen if they invent or reappropriate the meaning of an existing word in a way that captures the spirit of an idea they're trying to express. Of course, other times it'll be someone who's clearly trying to make fetch happen with a forced gimmicky catchphrase that doesn't catch on because of how unappealing or contrived it is. When you see something ill, you know what I mean? That's bull. And with that understanding, I'd like to present today's song by Gunna, featuring Future and Young Thug, entitled Push and Pee. Push and Pee. Push and Pee. Push and Pee. And off the bat, I, I wanted to give y'all a chance to hear the definition from the dude himself as to what it means. Well, this is Push and Pee, like when we backyard in, in the inside and outside. That's Pee. Oh, so it's when you have a garden on the inside and outside of your house? But no, as the video continues, he elaborates. You go to renting these things. You kick and pee. When you go to own the cash and I'm spending your hard earns, you push and pee. So yeah, what he means is like when you can actually afford the luxury you're spending on and when you're not fronting on the money you have, that's when you're pushing pee. He just don't mean play like pee I'm gonna mean pee paper too. And even though the P seems to supposedly stand for either paper or player, like to say keeping it pushing in a player way or, or like pushing this paper, what it seems to boil down to is a phrase that essentially means keeping it real. And once I did explain it to you, the answer's kind of underwhelming, right? Like, what? It, it, it's really just a vague roundabout way of saying their brags are legit? Like, that's it? But yeah, that's at least what they've officially been saying anytime I try to look it up. However, the only way I've actually seen it used is pretty much exclusively as an internet meta joke where the novelty comes from springing a phrase on an unsuspecting person that has a nebulous meaning. That obviously sounds like it means PENIS! Like, the letter P is a pretty commonly understood stand-in for one of two things, so if you hear someone's pushing P, you're automatically thinking it's either someone thrusting their genitals or the liquid that comes out of said genitals. And despite Gunna's given definition, the lyrics in the song are clearly about pushing P in a pretty explicitly penile fashion. Like, this woman isn't on her knees so she can clean his paper. But you know, when I think about it, the song is basically Naughty by Nature's OPP, but with, like, way less conviction to the topic, because they used the whole P as a double entendre thing to mean, while also meaning, however, as well, they added a G-rated meaning in there. As a slick way to still have a radio-friendly meaning you could say without getting in trouble, while alluding to the fact that the song is an anthem for cheating, across all gender boundaries. But the thing is, when you hear the lyrics in that song, they lay out the meaning pretty plainly. You can tell they actively wanted you to know what it means. Getting back to today's song, though, you know, I would have felt more inclined to clown on the more, uh, urinal implications of the phrase in question. But honestly, the things they intentionally mean to say are just about as silly. I just lost a cup of water. Did Homeboy just admit to pushing his pee into a glass of water? I, I can't imagine that would be a particularly gratifying experience. And then of course there's the worst line of them all. She not a lesbian for pee, she turned pisbian. Yeah, I, I don't think lesbians want you pushing your pee on them. I think there's a specific pee that they're pretty categorically fond of. And I get it, the point's supposed to be, oh, he's just so damn smooth and cool, even chicks not into dudes would totally jump his bones, but the suspension of disbelief gets shattered through the execution of the line itself. Cause all I'm thinking is, yeah, I don't believe that when what you're saying is corny shit like this. 
I mean, geez, you don't say something this face palm worthy unless you're like in a competition with Drake to concoct the most diabolically stupid thing a straight dude could ever say to a queer woman. Say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Like Future just heard this embarrassment to straight dudes everywhere and sat back stroking his chin while the swirling ominous music of this track played in the background as he thought, oh, Marlene, I'm finna give this asshole a run for his money. Because th this line comes early into the song, too, so, like, you can't ignore it. The song all but stops its momentum to make sure this gets heard, like it's the goddamn centerpiece of the track. And, you know, as utterly goofballs as this lyric is, honestly, I kind of can't help but admire the confidence that he had to actually say it. Like, at the very least, it's an idea, one that he says with full-throated certainty, which is more than I can say for Young Thug, who starts his verse like this. Like, look, I know folks use the term mumble rap derisively to poke fun at hard to understand rappers, but honestly, if you pay attention and are acclimated to the accent, you can actually make out what most rappers mean to say. But it, this isn't just an issue of not hearing correctly. Young Thug here is clearly just mumbling. You can tell his enunciation is loose here, not because of an accent, but because you can legit tell he didn't have a complete thought in his head before he started speaking. Like, let's be real here, this is the sound of someone bullshitting around. Like, this man was probably paid a couple K to perform a verse that, if it wasn't a famous name, would absolutely be uniformly ridiculed for the laziness on display. Brilliant rhyme scheme you got going there. And you know what, I, sure, I get being a little loose, freestyling, having some fun at some points, but the problem for me is the song as a whole is so limp in its execution overall, the barely trying vocals here just flattens an already underwhelming track even more so. Seriously, I, I didn't even realize the point was that they were trading every other bar at first, cause you know, how different are their styles really? And it's not like they actually did anything with the concept other than using an ever so slightly higher than average amount of words that start with P every now and then. But even so, after that initial line, they do not stick to the concept that well. Like, for real, I'd be okay with a simple concept joint like this if they'd actually put some freaking effort into it. Not even on some high-minded shit. I mean, just like the basics. Like, what? The Cardinals? So that's the sports team you reference in a song about pushing P? N not the sports teams that are famously known for their letter P logos? Like, come on, man. What a waste. Well, anyways, overall, I'd have to give this one a zero out of five. The song is basically just the one or two outlandishly awkward lyrics amongst a soupy doldrum of indistinguishable sludge. It's an empty calorie of a song that barely entertains beyond the goofy parts that are too few and far in between to be worth repeated listens. It's a painful patchwork of poor penmanship. It's pushing pathetic. But to be honest with you, it doesn't even really rile my anger up enough to even get that upset over it. Like, hey, as long as we're getting popular off of internet irony poison laziness, everybody do the pushing P. Forcing the dance to get popular, I'm pushing P. Playing Porter with my homies, I'm pushing P. My video quality is pushing for 80p. Yo, I Russia invade Ukraine. The size of Putin's P. Putin's P. Putin's P. Okay, that's all the effort I'm gonna put into the jokes for a song this lazy. So uh, let's wrap this up with our Patreon comments section, where $5 patrons can talk about how they feel on certain songs, positive or negative, and if I like it, I'll read it out for the show. And today's comment comes from a fan who says, love the dark and mysterious beat. Unfortunately, Gunna sounds like he's strung out the whole time and Future has terrible lines as usual. Seriously, whoever wrote that she not a lesbian for P she turned pesbian line, it needs to get slapped upside the head. I uh, certainly can't argue with that sentiment. Leave a like if you like because it helps, comment if you have something to say because it helps even more, and hit the subscribe and the bell because it helps the most. Follow me on Twitch to check out my music and gaming streams, follow my Twitter and IG to know when those streams are happening, and of course support me on Patreon and join the RC Discord to chat with me and fellow fans. Also, I'm trying to get more on TikTok just to upload some of my favorite clips from my episodes, so you know, get with it, act like you want it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.